Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I've got quite a few new arrivals to share with you. I've been getting a lot of new bags in lately, so it's been keeping me really busy. Um, so I'll go ahead and share um, some of the best of the best bags that I've just gotten in. And as always, I'll link them below in case you want to check out any of the bags. Um, there will be links directly to the Etsy shop, so you can look at them further if you like. Um, and also, I just wanted to explain real fast that most of these bags are vintage, but a few of them are too young to be vintage. So um, I'll go through and kind of explain um, what that means when I get to those bags. Um, but for the most part, most of them are vintage, and um, I'll go ahead and also tell you their ages as I get to them. So the first bag that we've got on the list is um, it's this New York City era bag. It's called a small shoulder bag. I believe it's from the 80s and it was made in the original New York City factory and um, I believe the color is mocha so it's this nice dark brown color that I believe was just offered for some of the older vintage bags and um, the style number for this specific bag was 9530 but you won't see that style number in the creed for this bag because this um, bag was made before they started including the style numbers in the creeds. So I'll go ahead and show you what the creed looks like now. I'll insert a photo. So as you can see, this one had a number sequence as the serial number. Um, some of the later vintage bags had the style number as the last four digits of the serial number, but this one didn't. It was too old of vintage to have that style of creed. Okay, so here's a close-up of the bag. As you can see it's got a turn lock. This is what the inside of the bag looks like. I have it stuffed with paper. So here's what the inside looks like. It's got a nice zip pocket back here and then the creed inside. And um, that's what the pocket looks like. And then it's also got a nice slip pocket right here in the front on the inside. Okay, so here's um, what the side and the back looks like. And as you can see, the leather still has some nice um, sheen to it. It's still in pretty good condition. So anyway, um, oh, and here, I don't know if you can see the strap, but it is a shoulder bag and um, that you can take the straps off. So I typically, when the bag is obviously not being used, I will take the strap off. I'll show you how I do it. And then I will um, roll it and um, just store the strap like this inside of the bag, just to keep the strap protected from storage. And there we go. So now I will go ahead and put this bag back in my storage bin. So next we've got this um, bag that is called a Beckett bag. And the style number, in case you want to look it up, is 9920. And this specific bag I believe it was made in the late 80s to early 90s, most likely um, based on the style of the Creed. And um, it was made in the US and the color is a really dark navy. It almost presents as black, but when I compare it to my black bags, it is a little bit lighter. Um, so some of the older vintage uh, bags that were navy, they look um, in some lighting almost black, but if you compare them to a um, legitimately black bag, you can kind of see a difference. But anyway, um, this is kind of what the bag looks like. As you can see, um, it's a large shoulder bag and it actually kind of reminds me a little bit of the Ergo bag, but just obviously a slightly different style. It's pretty large too, which is nice. You can fit quite a bit of stuff in it. Um, and I'll go ahead and show you a close up of the bag now. Okay, so here's a close up of the Beckett bag. As you can see, it's a rather large bag. It barely fits in frame. But this is what the outside and the sides look like. Still in good condition as you can see. Here's the bottom. Doesn't have a ton of wear to it. Which is the sides and here's the hang tag. And then I'll show you, this is the inside. It's got this nice leather zipper pull. 
and of course I have it stuffed with paper. Okay, so here's what the inside looks like. It's got um, Creed is inside here. You can't really see it very clearly on camera. But it's got a nice big zip pocket on the inside. Um, so anyway, that's what the Beckett bag looks like. And as you can see, it is, here's a strap, you can kind of see it. Um, it is a shoulder bag, so um, probably wouldn't work as a crossbody. But it is a nice larger size shoulder bag. So I'll go ahead and restuff it and put it away for storage. Okay, so now it's ready to be stored until it finds its new home. So next we've got one of three um, city bags. So um, the style number for all city bags would be 9790. And this one is actually in dark navy as well, like the other bag I just showed you, the Beckett. Um, so it's got this dark navy color that almost looks like black in some lighting. And um, this city bag I estimate to be from the late 80s to early 90s um, and it does have a one-sided hang tag and the older um, style of the turn lock hardware so I do think it's a little bit older maybe one of the earlier versions of the city bag um, not not a huge difference from the ones that I see with the 90s but just the hang tag and the turn lock hardware are the older style that you see with some of the older vintage bags um, so anyway I've got the straps um, uh, inside the bag that's how I like to store them just to keep it safe so the straps are inside here but I'll go ahead and take them out and show you a close-up of the bag now and here's a quick close-up of the city bag the dark navy one here's the front and the sides and here's the back it's got a nice pocket back here and here's the side with this one-sided hang tag the back is kind of this suede texture in the front has the coach cartouche stamp and here's the front again and um, here's the strap it's a crossbody and I'll go ahead and show you the inside now it does have a pocket here and I'll take out the paper and then show you what the inside of the body of the bag looks like okay so here's the inside of the bag as you can see it's pretty clean um, it's got a nice zipper here oh and um, the hardware on the zipper is a little bit of an older style too than some of the other um, younger vintage uh, city bags have so here's what the zipper looks like it's kind of cool to see a different style of hardware um, I'll show you on the other city bags and you can see the other type of hardware I'm talking about and here's also what the Creed looks like on the inside of the bag. Anyway, um, that's what it looks like. And before I put it away, I like to take it out, take um, the strap apart and store it inside the bag. So I'll do that real fast and you can see what it looks like or how I store it. So I'll roll the strap, whoops, I have this one all twisted around. But yeah, if you ever purchase a bag from me and the strap is inside the bag, that's why. Just I like to do that to keep it safe um, in storage and also in transit when I ship bags to customers. Ready to store it again and shape it a little bit all right so now it's ready to be stored until it finds its new home so next we got another city bag and this one is actually um, not considered vintage yet this one I believe is from 2005 and it was made in China but um, it looks pretty similar to the vintage city bags um, the same basic style um, and as you can see obviously the color is red but it's interesting because I have another um, city bag that came in red that's also a little bit more modern, not quite vintage yet, and it's actually a different shade of red. I'll show you that one next, but it's kind of interesting to compare the color differences. Um, anyway, so this one, like I mentioned, was made in, um, I believe, 2005 and in China. 
And as you can see, it's got the nickel hardware which I think Coach started using around the year 2000 and on, if I'm not mistaken. And um, I've also got the straps stored up inside the bag just to keep them safe while I store it. But I'll go ahead and give you a close-up view of the bag now. So here we have the Red City bag. And this one is the one from 2005. So this one isn't the brand new one. Um, it's the one with the nickel hardware as well. And it was used a little bit. I think it was probably just used a couple of times. It does have a little bit of wear, but it's still in really good condition. So I'll show you. This is um, what the back looks like. And it did have like a small mark right there, but it's barely noticeable. Um, and the strap looks the same as the other one that I just showed you, but yeah, I have it rolled up. And this uh, strap is still pretty stiff, um, which is also another indicator that it probably was not used a lot. It's got um, nickel hardware on the strap, of course. And I'll go ahead and show you now the creed, which you can barely see right there. i kind of make it out. And um, this one has the other type of um, hardware I was talking about for the zipper pull. So as you can see, it's a little different than the last one I showed you. It's got a big pocket there. Okay. So here's what the strap looks like, another crossbody bag. So I'll take it apart again and put it back. Oh, and the front does have this um, pin mark right there, unfortunately. It's also got a nice... Oh, I forgot to show you this. It comes with this little booklet. So, it's kind of cool. Um, it comes with that. So anyway, I will go ahead and close it up now. So, I kind of saved the most exciting city bag for last. So, this one is um new with tags so it was never used this one actually is slightly more modern it's not old enough to be vintage yet um either just like the last one i showed you but this one was made a year earlier in 2004 also in china um and as you can see it's got brass hardware where the other one had nickel and um the shade of red is slightly different this one's a little bit darker more rich shade of red so it's kind of cool to compare the differences year to year with these bags or at least um, compare these two that were made a year apart. So um, anyway, I'll go ahead and uh, show you a close-up of this one as well. So here's a close-up of the bag. And as you can see, it's in like new, it's in like new condition. It's got a um, nice pocket back here. And it's got the brass hardware. And it looks about the same as the other um, bag. I'll just skip showing it since we just looked at one that looks about the same. Here's a quick photo of the Creed though if you wanted to see what it looks like. So next we've got this mini bag. So this one's called a mini belt bag and the style number is 9826. And this one was made in 1995 in the US. And um, as you can see, it's got this little hang tag and these little um, uh, D rings that you can attach the crossbody strap, which I have stored inside of the bag. I try to store all the straps inside of the bags um, when I'm, you know, obviously storing them just to keep the straps safe. But I'll take it out and show you in a second when I give you a close up view. Um, and then it's also got this um, little strap back here that you could slide a belt into if you want to wear it as a belt bag. So it's kind of versatile. You can use it as a belt bag or a crossbody bag. It's pretty small, a little bigger than um, a lot of, I would say, wallets, but um, it is pretty small. So if you want to use something that maybe you're traveling or whatever and you want to use a belt bag, or if you just want something small, a little bigger than a wallet, 
um, that you can carry a couple items in, but you don't want it to be too heavy, I would say this is a really good option. So here's a close-up look. As you can see, it does have some wear on it. It's the side back, the hang tag, and then this is where you could loop a belt through like this. Um, the front again and here's what the bottom looks like and it's got a spring lock that you just pull up this is how you close it just push down and it locks and then you pull up to open it and then here's the crossbody strap that attaches to the back here to these loops I'll show you So you could wear it as a crossbody bag or as a belt bag, of course. Here's the strap again. <clears throat> and then this is what the inside looks like. It's got a little pocket compartment there, the inside, and then the pocket compartment back there. And then there's the Creed. Probably can't really read it, but I'll show a photo of it now. Okay, so now this is ready to be stored back in the bag. Okay, just close it, now it's done. So next we've got this carousel bag. Um, the style number for carousel bags was 9942, and this specific bag was made in the US in 1994. And as you can see, it's um, black leather, and this one does have a top handle here, and it also has a crossbody strap inside the bag. I'll go ahead and take it out and show you a close-up now. So here's a close-up of that one. Here's the back and the sides, and the top handle up here. That's what that top looks like, and here's the bottom. And then I'll show you the crossbody strap inside here and the hang tag. And then these hook here. And the other side right here. Oops. So um, you could wear it as a crossbody bag like that. It's the strap and the buckle. Um, or you could just carry it almost like a clutch or a handbag, um, whatever you like. And then here's what the inside looks like. And it does have these um, nice pull out pockets and this one's got the creed on it. You can see that. Here's the style number 9942, like I mentioned before. And um, <clears throat> it's got a nice zip closure up here. And this will just slide back into the bag and it's got another one on the other side. But this one doesn't have a zipper, it's just a slip pocket. So it's got a couple pockets inside. You can store some stuff in there got pretty big inside on the storage space for the essentials and then I'll go ahead and reset the bag okay so now it's ready to be stored again there we go and then next we have this beautiful plaza bag in burgundy leather and um, the style number for plaza bags was 9860. And um, this one was made in the US and I estimate likely in the 80s. And as I mentioned, the color is burgundy, which I think is a little bit more of a rare color. I don't find as many vintage coach bags in the color burgundy. Um, and then this one also has a crossbody strap inside that connects to these um, D-rings right here, so I'll go ahead and take that out and give you a close-up so you can see the bag and the strap here next. So here's the plaza bag up close. It does have some wear, as you can see. There's a stain or spot on there. 
It's got some down here. Um, so this one's definitely got some wear and patina throughout. Some on the back as well. It's got this nice slip pocket back here and a top handle. And here is a one-sided hang tag with the suede on the back. And here's what the bottom looks like. And here's the top. And then I'll go ahead and show you the strap. So here's the strap with the large um, dog leash clasps. So it is a, another cross body bag and the strap is not adjustable on this guy. And then it's got a nice front pocket here. Um, and then the paperwork on the inside and it's got a nice um, uh, zip pocket back here and um, there's the Creed. I'll show you a better photo of it. Anyway, that's what the plaza bag looks like. I think the burgundy color is really beautiful on this one. It's a nice um, kind of medium-sized bag as well. Okay, so one last look. And then here we have this beautiful pocket bag. Um, that's like the official style name and the style number is 9875 and it's a beautiful dark brown. I'm not sure if it would be considered the color mocha um, or if it would be mahogany, but I'm guessing probably mocha. Um, and I estimate it was made in the 90s and it was made in the US. Um, so also what's really nice about this bag is it looks like it was probably barely used, if at all. And it also has the original sales pamphlet inside. So I'll go ahead and show you a close up view of that and the sales pamphlet now. So next we have the pocket bag, not to be confused with the pocket purse, which is a completely different style, which I also have in the shop if you're looking for them. Have them in a couple colors. Anyway, here's the pocket bag. I think this style is somewhat rare, or at least I don't come across it very often. This is the first one I've ever found. Here's what the side looks like. The back. This is a pocket here. Here's the bottom. And here's the side. This one also has the one-sided hang tag. Okay, and here's the strap. Oops, it's twisted around. Here's the strap. The strap looks like, you can adjust it on the sides here. And then I'll open the bag. And it's got a nice gusseted pocket here and then Here's the little sales pa pamphlet that I told you I would show you. It's got um, some sales, like kind of ads and paperwork in there. And here's what the inside looks like. So the inside looks pretty clean. Like I said, this bag was probably barely used. There's the Creed. I'll go ahead and give you a close up of it now. And then just have a nice long pocket back here. It's fairly deep and it does have a zipper clo zip closure. And then we'll take the strap off this time, like I'm doing with all the other bags, so we can store it nicely. Okay, and 
I've just got two other bags left to show you, so we're getting close to the end here. But um, next we have this beautiful um, day pack backpack. And this one actually is also kind of a more um, modern kind of remake, I guess, of um, the vintage style of bags. Um, so this one is actually from India, I believe, and I think it was made in the year 2006 based on the Creed. I'll show you the Creed now. And um, as you can see, the color is black and it's got this nice nickel hardware and um, the, the style number for day packs was 9960. So here's another look at the bag and I'll give you a um, better close up of the bag now. So next, um, we've got an up close view of the day pack. And before I show it to you, um, it does come with this, um, this dust bag. So that's kind of nice. Can store it in there. So here's what the front looks like. It's got a nickel turn lock and then it's got this adjustable drawstring. So this is a little piece that hangs down in the front. So you can adjust it. Hangs down right here. And then here's the side view in the back view and here's the hang tag. And this is the drawstring that you saw in the front. And here's the back of the bag. So as you can see, it was basically never used. And here's the top um, loop, the handle, and here's the back straps. And um, they are adjustable as well, so you can adjust the straps. So that's what it looks like on the outside and then on the inside it's very clean obviously it wasn't used and then it's got this little um, zip pocket and then the creeds there I'll go ahead and insert a photo now so you can see the creed up close So anyway, that's what the day pack looks like. So we'll store it in the dust bag like so. Okay, and so the very last bag I've got to show you um, this time is this uh, beautiful Watson bag. The style number for Watson bags was 9981 and um, it's in this beautiful mahogany brown color and as you can see it's a cross it's a cross body bag um, and it's a really nice convenient kind of smaller size so you can carry stuff in it and it won't probably feel very heavy depending I guess on what you put inside but I kind of like this um, size for bags just because I don't like to carry a lot of stuff because it can be heavy on my shoulders. So that's one um, benefit to the slightly smaller sizes. So I feel like this size is really convenient. And um, this bag was actually made in the US as well and in the year 2000. And um, one other nice thing about this bag is um, I don't think it was probably ever used or it was barely used. The strap is still pretty thick, um, which is one way that I can kind of um, determine if a bag was used very much if the strap is still like pretty firm and stiff and doesn't have like hardly any wear to it I feel like that's usually um, kind of a good way to kind of gauge uh, how much a bag was used sometimes is how like worn or soft the strap is and as you can see this one's still pretty stiff so I would guess this bag was probably barely used and then I'll go ahead and give you a close-up of this bag as well. So a close view of it. Here's the side. And the back. It's got a pocket up here. This leather is still nice and stiff. And here's the bottom. And the front. 
This is what the inside looks like. Zipper. And there's the Creed. I'll also post a up close photo of the Creed. So that's what it looks like and now it's ready for storage. So that's it for all of the November new arrival bags. Um, I do have a couple other uh, new bags that just came in that I have to sort through and process and get listed. So I'm sure I'll post another new arrivals in the near future once I have um, a couple more bags to kind of report on and show you guys. Um, I hope you guys liked these bags. I. I was pretty excited about some of them because a few of them um, were the first style that I found like that or the first um, bag that I'd come across in that style so it's kind of exciting for me so I just wanted to share them with you and as I mentioned at the beginning of the video I'll of course link them all below in case you just want to take another look at them or um, if you're interested in any of them um, I was also going to mention if you guys have any questions or comments for me or you guys um, have any recommendations for any videos you'd like to see in the future, uh, please, free, please feel free to leave them below in the comment section and I'll definitely take that into consideration. Thanks so much for watching and take care.